Hey, this is Jeff with Diversified Energy. We're here in Old Town Covington with an 8,000 square foot commercial building. And what we're going to be talking about are the questions that we get from you, the consumer, when it comes to closed cell spray foam underneath the floor. And we have answers for you. What you want is what code recommends. In our climate zone, climate zone number two, most of the Gulf Coast South, that is an R13. An R13 is about two inches of closed cell. An inch of closed cell is roughly a 6.789 or an R7. So with two inches of closed cell foam, you're getting right there an R13 or more. Now, how do we know it's two inches? Well, we go around as we're spraying, we go around taking a little measuring stick and we simply poke around. We're showing that actually right at that blue tape, we're just a little bit over two inches. So as we're spraying, we're going around, always giving a poke, making sure we got what you pay for, we got the two inches, we got the code approved amount, and when we're looking at this, you know what? Inches matter. In this particular case, this is a commercial building, and underneath the subfloor right here, you'll see these boxes. We asked the owner of this building to talk to their electrician about installing these. Why do we go ahead and do that? Well, there is a lot of particular wiring right here. So in this particular case, I said, look, talk to the electrician, have the proper housing around it. We're going to seal around with spray foam, get the air seal. Why do we want the air seal? That's what we're trying to achieve. And this was a specific reason why we wanted to do that. Protect this amount of wiring. Otherwise, outside of that, typical residential properties, we want to submerge the wiring. That is your air seal, your energy bills, your comfort. Well, Jeff, we see that you put the two inches of closed cell foam underneath the floor. I'm getting my air barrier, I'm getting my vapor barrier, and I'm getting a code approved R13. But what about doing the floor joist right here? I mean, is there the potential that you're getting some moisture coming up diffusing into my house through these joists? And that is a good question. Now, the LSU Ag Center has done some great studies and spends a lot of time on building science. And this report talks about the importance of two inches of closed cell spray foam as best practice when insulating the subfloor. But also, it doesn't go into a great amount of detail, but the report does bring up some questions that we can discuss. So go to our website, provide us your contact information, and we'll go ahead and get you that report from the LSU Ag Center.